ad groups. One of the most important and confusing things inside of Google Ads, they are frequently talked about, however, almost never explained anywhere, and most people just get confused by them. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over what ad groups are, why they're important, and how to actually make them inside of your Google Ads account. So to start off, what is a ad group inside of Google Ads? Google gives us this definition, which is an ad group contains one or more of these ads that share similar targets. And essentially to sum this up and make this easy on yourself, an ad group contains three things. It contains your ads, it contains your keywords, and it contains your landing pages. And I built a nice little document that looks like this just to give you an idea. As you can see, we have the ad group, we have the keywords, we have the landing pages and the ads and they're all inside the actual ad group. And essentially why these are important is because we want to be as specific to the customer's problem as possible. When our potential customer types in looking for pool installation or looking for you know heating and cooling repair, we want our ad to pop up and say looking for heating and cooling repair or looking for pool installation and then send them to a landing page that is very relevant to their problem. If we can do this, we're going to be on Google's good side and they're probably gonna give us a higher quality score, which is going to lower our cost per click, which will allow us to get more leads, which will allow us to get more sales and put everyone in a much better spot. Now, one thing I did wanna show you is essentially what a good ad group structure looks like as opposed to a bad ad group structure. And like I said, we really want to keep the ad as relevant to the keyword and the landing page as possible. We wanna make sure those three things are lined up very well. So if we come over here to our example, this is not actually including the landing page, it should be. But as you can see, we have the keyword AC repair, and then we have our ad that says looking for AC repair. And then we would actually have a landing page, which once the person clicked on this ad, they would go to, which said something like looking for AC repair, or we have AC repairs on standby, something that is very, very similar, where they could just go in and fill a form or call them directly. And this gives us what Google likes to consider high relevance. This gives us a good ad relevance. This will generally give us a above average click through rate, and it will give us a good landing page experience provided our landing page is actually linked up with all these keywords and ads, and it looks very similar to all of them. What a bad example of this is possibly our competition. I see a lot of actual campaigns that are running. They're very vague, and they don't cover enough of actual ad groups and they really can't go after the nitty gritty stuff and they'll essentially just target a keyword like AC repair like in the previous example but they'll run ads that say HVAC services or heating and cooling services something that's very vague and then they send them to their homepage of their website the issue with this is Google doesn't really like that the reason is because people like having their problem identified quickly they like finding the quickest solution the more we essentially stretch what our offer is away from what the customer actually wants the less likely they are to convert and the more likely Google is to look at this and go this isn't as relevant and I'm not going to show your ad as often or I'm going to charge you more I'm going to charge you a higher cost per click and you're gonna get less leads, which is not good and not somewhere we wanna be. Now, as you can see in our document, one of the most important factors on top of the keywords and ads is actual landing pages. Most people in Google Ads just skip this entire part and send their actual traffic to a website, which normally converts anywhere from half a percent all the way up to 10%, depending on the statistics you look at. I highly recommend using some sort of landing page software to actually build out custom landing pages. That way you can take your conversion rate from anywhere from zero to 10, all the way up to 20 to 40%. That can literally quadruple the amount of leads you're getting overnight by just simply using a dedicated landing page. It also helps with your landing page experience and bringing down your cost per click overall. The landing page software we use is called Landingly. It's really cheap, really fast, really easy to use. And I just love it above all the other ones out there. And there are a lot of other ones. If you choose to use another one, that's completely fine. Uh, but just make sure you are creating custom design landing pages for this. If you don't know how to really build it, we have a complete video. I'll link it up above on how to create an amazing landing page for Google ads. We also have an entire course on it as well as landing pages can be quite extensive in some circumstances. So you might want to check out a landing page software. It will really help with Google ads and skyrocket your conversion rates. Now, how do we actually go about creating new ad groups? And it's pretty simple. All we have to do is come back to our Google ads account and we are going to click on our campaign here. For this one, we already have a few ad groups in this account, but I'm going to essentially create a new one. What we can do is come over here to ad groups. We're gonna click on that. And as you can see, we have all of our ad groups. What I suggest you do if you already have ad groups that are running well is just doubling them out and creating duplicates and then going in and switching the keywords and switching some of the actual headlines. This allows us to maximize our actual time because it's a lot simpler and a lot easier just to change a few headlines as opposed to recreating the entire ad group. If you wanna do that, you just have to actually check this off, hit edit, hit copy, 
and then hit paste and it will double out the actual ad group. I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch because you know a lot of people probably want to know how to do that. Just to save yourself some time, that might be something you want to consider. Now what we have to do to actually create the new ad group is simply hit the big blue plus icon and then we are going to create a new ad group. And this is pretty simple to do. All we're gonna have to do is rename this ad group. We could do above ground pools. And then we can just enter in our keywords. I have an entire video on this on actual keyword research, how to find good keywords, what actual match type you use. It's a very extensive video and it's very useful to people who are just new to this. And I think most people, if you're unfamiliar with this, probably should watch that video first. I'll link that up above in case you're unfamiliar with it. But what we're gonna do here is just copy and paste a whole bunch of keywords. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so I went ahead and found a few actual keywords and your ad group may have more keywords, it may have less keywords. It's completely dependent on your services. But right now inside of Google Ads, we're normally seeing more keywords with less ad groups. That tends to be this trend as we're going to try and use dynamic keyword insertion, which I'll show you in a second how to use and try to really optimize on less ad groups but more keywords and it's just a better strategy right now inside Google Ads. I'm keeping this in phrase match. As you can see the little parentheses around here, that allows us to get a good volume of searches without being too lenient in most cases. Uh, I think most companies are better off going with phrase match, uh, but again, every scenario is different. What we're gonna do is hit save and continue and then we're going to create our first ad. Now what we can do is actually scroll down to our ad and as you can see, we have the final URL, Coastal Edge Pools. I would send this to a dedicated landing page for above ground pools. The more relevant we can make that landing page to our actual ad and keyword, the more likely our customer is to actually convert because we're providing the most relevant problem or we're providing the most relevant solution to their problem. And that's generally what we wanna do with Google Ads. Now moving on, we actually have the display path, which is this little link up here that appears after our URL. What I would suggest doing is essentially going after your keyword. So as you can see here, above ground pool, installation, that's completely fine. And we have a whole bunch of headlines already generated for us since we have a whole bunch of pool installation ads already. Most of this is gonna be completely fine. We're gonna change a few of them to above ground pools. Above ground pool, it's a perfect, uh, that's fine. One thing here, as you can see, is a little squiggly bracket around our first headline. I recommend this for just about every single ad and ad group. This is because it allows us to essentially replace the search term the person searched for with the actual headline. So if we have a keyword inside of our ad group and it then triggers because someone searched it, it will then swap out that headline, which is really cool and we can really become extremely relevant to the customer's problem. How we do that is not that difficult. All we do is we hit a squiggly bracket, we hit keyword insertion, and then we just provide a backup in case that um, keyword doesn't trigger. So if this is worst case scenario, uh, this will pop up. Above uh, ground pools or pool installation would be fine. We're gonna use title case, uh, that looks the best. And then moving forward, we come through here. By the way, I, I don't wanna go super deep into how to write ads. I have an entire video on that as well. We also have the Google Ads done for you bundle, which will make your life a lot easier as well. Uh, provides a whole bunch of headlines and stuff, but I'll link up that video up above, uh, which is super relevant and super helpful when it comes to actually coming up with calls to action, identifying the problem and reasons to buy. That's how we structure our ads. Very, very useful and easy that way. What I would do now after this looks pretty good. Uh, I might change a few more things. I might go into the description and change out, um, you know, pool installation for above ground pool installation. But again, for the sake of time, I don't want to bore you guys to death. But we're trying to essentially get our keywords in there above ground pool installers, above ground pool installation, above ground pool contractor, all into here. Um, we could do da, 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 certified. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I, I think that's fine for right now, honestly. And then once we go here, we can hit save and continue and we have officially set up our ad group, but we are not done yet because what we need to do is create more ads. And what I recommend for everyone is generally setting three ads for every single ad group. Here we have our one ad, but we want to have at least three ads inside of our ad group. The reason for that is most people are not going to take the time to A-B test every single headline. You can do this quicker if you manually test the headlines, pin them individually, and then actually A-B test by yourself. The issue is that's a lot of time. Most people are not gonna do it. So I recommend adding three ads for every ad group 
and then having 15 out of 15 headlines, four to four descriptions. That way Google can just keep A-B testing these ads all day long and then it will generally find a winner very, very quickly and have a very high click-through rate as opposed to most people who are just not gonna take the time to fill three ads for every ad group. Once we essentially have three ads, and they're not hard to do, if you wanna create them from scratch, you can hit the big blue plus icon. What I would recommend doing is copying them out, heading edit, then pasting these in the account. And the reason we wanna do this is it just saves us more time. And I would go in, I would change out some of the reasons to buy and then the actual main keywords we're targeting. So instead of above ground pool installation, it could be above ground pool contractors, just adding a little different. I would go in, I would change out most of the descriptions. There's a lot of stuff I would change about it. But essentially you want three ads that are 80% different from each other and allow Google to essentially just keep A-B testing this all day long. If you wanna create three ads completely new from scratch, that's completely fine. Uh, if you wanna save a little bit of time, you might wanna just copy them out, change a few of the headlines, go from there. But please make sure you have three ads in every single ad group, your keywords are all lined up, and then you have the right landing page, which you can just go in here and check uh, is the correct one. And once you do all that, your campaign and ad group should be good to go. As you can see, it's not eligible right now because the campaign is paused, but your ad should be good to go. It may take 24 to 48 hours to approve because Google has an approval process, but you're good to go from there. Now, I do have one thing to actually mention. If you want to continue improving your account, you might want to check out our Google Ads Optimization Checklist. It's completely free and the link is down below. It walks you through what to do on a weekly, monthly, and three month basis. It also allows you to jot down your results so you can see that you're improving month over month. I am prone to forget things and I think it's just nice to have a little checklist on the back end to make sure I didn't forget anything. We are adding those negatives every single week. We are making sure we're A-B testing these ads so our account continues to improve and we see more progress overall. But that's it for today's video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. On that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, and I wish you all well.